Here's how you can replace trailer bearings and put on some bearing protectors when you're finished replacing them. The first thing you need to do is remove the dust cap uh, with a screwdriver. You can tap around the edge with a hammer to get it started and then twist the screwdriver to pop the cap off. There's a cotter pin then next which you need to take off and then unscrew the main hub bolt and pull off the wheel. When that's all off, uh, you need to pack the bearings with grease. Um, you might want to wear gloves to do this. I didn't, and you can see what it did to my hands. Uh, make sure that the bearing cups that are left within the, the hub itself uh, are smooth and free of any kind of rust or metal fragments. Um, you need to grease the bearings and put them in so that the cone shape uh, basically uh, faces the inside of the wheel um, and make certain that you put the cotter pin back in um, because otherwise uh, the wheel will absolutely come off. Um, then you need to fill the bearing cup uh, about uh, two-thirds of the way full with grease and then it's a pressure fit so you need to take a, a block of wood or a rubber mallet and hammer that on evenly all the way around and make sure that the lip of the bearing goes all the way up to the edge of the hub. Then top off the bearing with a grease gun and put the protective cover on that and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching.